Now, dito na ngayon papasok ang isang familiar command na ginamit natin nakaraan sa legs. Ano yun? Nakakalala ba? Paano natin napabilog ang legs? Circularize. Thank you, Dania. So, double click. The loop. Shift right click. Circularize. So, circularize components. Bibilog na siya. Going back to W for move tool. Ayan siya. So, from here, I can go to the side. Mm -hmm. R. Let's say that. Hindi ba? Na, na fit ko na siya sa aking ref. I'll do the same dito. Shift, right click. Ups, teka. Tayo nga pala ay nasa elbow area. So, magkakaroon tayo ng repeat procedure when it comes to the elbow. No? Ang concern natin sa elbow being a joint. So, ang gagawin natin dito, katulad ng ginawa natin doon sa ating, ano, um, what you call that, um, knee, di ba? So, dito medyo iba naman. Gawin natin class something like this. Um, we can create new connection. So, ang gagawin ko lamang is I'll select this and this. No? At saka ito. Let's say that. Um, let's say iikot. Ako. I'll do a co selection here. And then here at saka dito. Yan. Ano? So, I've selected these Verti um, edges and vertices. One, two, three. So, iikot yan. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then, balik sa dati. Then, I'll do a connect. A simple connection lang naman. There. And, I'll press W. Ayun. It's connected. It is there. Now, I can just select this one, class. Yung aking vertex selection. And this is the target weld na ginawa rin natin last time. I can click this. Target weld it there to that portion. And target weld this to this portion. Ayan na siya. So it is ready. Katulad nung knee or nung tuhod, it is ready diba? to be bent inside na ito. And with that, I can start my modeling. Um, let's say, turning off my target weld. Pwede ko na ngayong i-adjust. I'll go for my edges. Double click here. And I'll double click here. Let's try having shift. Right click. Circularize. Ayun. W. Mm -hmm. Let's say, ibababa ko ito, edges na ito, near the elbow crease. No? Dito sa crease part or yung nilulukutan na part. Mm -hmm. I'll bring down. So, I'm selecting the edges. Ayan. And then, I will just turn on my edge slide constraint. It is slide down now here. So, let's say, ipapaslide down natin sila. There. Oh, something like this. Mariba? And also, I will deselect this portion and this side para ma-push ko to ng side papasok a little. Ayan. Let's repeat that. Konte dito. One, two, three. This side, at saka this side. Sliding it. Here, take out. Mm 
there. Mm -hmm. There. Slide it near a bit. Mm -hmm. Then let me turn off my edge selection. Or sorry, my edge slide constraint and counting a truss there, no? I can now go number three, polygon, ayun. Alt X, ah, uh, sorry. One. Now I can switch to my view here. Ayan yung view po. Ayan. I can also do this side view. So I can get the back view. At iaatras ko uli siya. So that I do not see polygons at the front. Let's say that. Ano ba? Kasi nakaka dito. Diba? Now I do not see polygons at the front. Select ko lamang ito. Ayan, pakipaliwanag ko lang. Ha? The back view is just here. Hmm. Vertex. Hmm. So, now ito yung elbow. So, let me just adjust the elbow We're using my edge slide constraint. Oops. Konti dito. Konti dyan. Mm -hmm. Tapos ito. Let's push it inwards. Then I'll let go of this too. Oops. Push this. Inwards and then up. Mm -hmm. Oops, balik tan, sorry. This should be here. And this should be here. There. Then, and slightly the arms. On the round. Slightly now. Pushing this forward. You know, so the pointedness of the elbow na lang. Let's say here, I'll turn off my edge slide. Then I'll just drag this. Mm -hmm. There. Starting to have that shape. Number three. And let's say yan. For the elbow. Mm. Okay, so now, so far the elbow is popping out, na, or the elbow polygons or shapes, or sorry, vertices. Hmm, ito pala, yeah, that's why. Mm, let's 
along the slide edge slide. Let's just move it that way. Yeah. So with that, itutuloy ko na ang aking pag-circularize onto this portion, the arm, shift, right-click, circularize. Double the for move tool. Ayan siya. Now let's look at it. Edges are scaling it to fit. W. Here's a side view. You can this side view. And then this one. Oops, sorry. Saving work. Oh, yeah. So far, let's say I'll bring three. Eto na. So far, yung arms. Um, let me just adjust the bicep. Make it a bit more prominent. And there, pressing one, so ito yung arms, base level ng arms, maliba? Ayan na siya, so far, class. Nagawa natin si arm, base mesh level. Um, let's just look at it. Oops, medyo a-adjust ko lamang dito. Contact. Next, yung likuran. Let me just double check the back of it. I think. Masama naman. Susunod naman. Let me just try what will be the result of this if I do a shift right click circle it starts. So W for move tool saving work. I am sure. Yeah. Now of course, let me just select the rest of the backup and unhide. Kasi ang gagawin ko ngayon, class, selecting this. Of course, gagawa ngayon ako ng backup. Um, I'll just hold shift, click and drag, put it here. Mm -hmm. And then, ang pasabihin ko sa kanya... Sabihin ko dito, this is going to be named Base Mesh. And this is going to be um, Arms.
So, gagawin ko is I'll just go to edit, duplicate, special. Ayan. So, ayun pa rin. Duplicate special. There it is. Mesh. Combine. Pagka-combine, going to the top view. Selecting. Going for my vertices. Oops. Yeah. Mesh. Oops. So from 60 to 30. Ayan na siya. Now my backup is set there. Then I'll just go to my edit, delete by type history, edit, delete all by types. Then I can delete this, delete. And now I have my arm back up. And so as the rest, shift H or control H to hide. And then we will proceed now with the modeling of the arms. Ah, sorry, the hands. Now, bago tayo magtuloy-tuloy sa modeling ng hands, sige, bigay tayo ng break. Um, let's have a five-minute break para pagdating natin sa hands, freshen up tayo ng content. 